Here we will see tree view control in ASP.NET. The tree view control is used to display the hierarchical data such as a table of contents or file directory in a tree structure. A tree view is a collection of tree node objects. The content of the tree view control can be specified directly in the control or it can be bound to XML file, web.sitemap file and database table. The main class for tree view control is system.web.ui.webcontrols. Different features of tree view controls are It supports data binding that allows the nodes of the control to be bound to XML, tabular or relational data. It gives site navigation through integration with the sitemap data source control. Node text that can be displayed as either plain text or hyperlinks. It gives programmatic access to the tree view object model to create trees, populate nodes, set properties and so on dynamically. It supports client-side node population. It gives the ability to display a checkbox next to each node. And customizable appearance through themes, user-defined images and styles are also supported. The tree view control is made up of nodes. Each entry in the tree is called as a node and is represented by tree node object. Different types of node are Node types are defined as as follows. A node that contains other nodes is called a parent node. The node that is contained by another node is called as a child node. A node that has no children is called a leaf node. The node that is not contained by any other node but it is the assenter to all other node is the root node. The tree view control can be created using the design section by dragging and dropping the control from the ASP.NET toolbar window or it can also created from the markup section using the following code. Tree view, its ID and its attribute run at server. Different styles of tree view controls are Node spacing which gives the space in pixel between the current node and the node above or below it. Virtual padding which specifies the space in pixel between the top and bottom of the node text. Horizontal padding specifies the spaces in pixel between the left and right of the node text. And child node padding specifies the spaces in pixel between the parent node and its child node. Different properties of tree view controls are First is ID, which is used to get source sets the programmatic identifier assigned to the control. Access key is used to get source sets the access key that allows user to quickly navigate to the web server control. Back color property is used to get source sets the background color of the web server control. Border color property is used to get source sets the border color of the web control. Border style property is used to get source sets the border style of the web server control. Border width property is used to get source sets the border width of the web server control. CSS class is used to get source sets the cascading stylesheet class rendered by the web server control. Checked node property is used to get a collection of tree node objects that represent the nodes in the tree view control that display a selected checkbox. Data binding property is used to get a collection of tree node binding object that define the relationship between a data item and node that is binding to. Data source property is used to get source sets the object from which data bound control retrieves its list of data items. Image set property is used to get source sets the group of images to use for the tree view control. Leaf node style is used to get a reference to the tree node style object that allows user to set the appearance of the leaf node. Label style is used to get a collection of style object that represents the node styles at the individual levels of the tree. Max data bind depth which is used to get or sets the maximum number of tree levels to bind to the tree view control. Node indent is used to get or sets the indention amount in pixels for the child node in a tree view control. Nodes property is used to get a collection of tree node objects that represents the root node in the tree view control. Node style property is used to get a reference to the tree node style object 
that allows user to set a default appearance of the node in the tree view control. Node wrap property is used to get or sets a value indicating whether text wraps in a node when the node runs out of space. Parent node style property is used to get a reference to the tree node style object that allows user to set the appearance of the parent node in a tree view control. Path separator property is used to get or sets the character that is used to delimit the node values that are specified by the value path property. Populate nodes from client is used to get or sets a value indicating whether node data is populated on demand from the client. Root node style property is used to get a reference to the tree node style object that allows user to set the appearance of the root node in the tree view control. Selected node property is used to get a tree node object that represents the selected node in the tree view control. Selected node style is used to get the tree node style object that controls the appearance of the selected node in the tree view control. Selected value property is used to get the value of selected node. Show checkboxes property is used to get or sets a value indicating which node type will be display a checkbox in the tree view control. Different methods for tree view controls are data bind which binds a data source to the invoked server control and all its child controls. Dispose method enables a server control to perform final cleanup before it is released from memory. Equals method determines whether the specified object is equal to the current object. Focus method is used to set the input focus to the control. Find node method retrieves the tree node object in the tree view control at the specified value path. On selected node changed method rises the selected node changed event of the tree view control. On tree node check changed method rises the tree node check change event of the tree view control. On tree node collapsed method rises the tree node collapsed event of the tree view control. On tree node data bound method rises the tree node data bound event of the tree view control. On tree node expand method rises tree node expanded event of the tree view control. On tree node populate method rises the tree node populate event of the tree view control. On load method rises the load event. Two string method returns a string that represents the current object. Set node data bound method allows a derived class to set whether the specified tree node control is data bound. Set node data item allows a derived class to set data item for a specified tree node control. Set node data path method allows a derived class to set the data path for a specified tree node control. Different events are data binding which occurs when the server control binds to a data source. Data bound event occurs after the server control binds to a data source. Disposed event occurs when a server control is released from memory which is the last stage of the server control life cycle. Init event occurs when the server control is initialized which is the first step in its life cycle. Selected node change event occurs when the node is selected in the tree view control. Tree node check change event occurs when a checkbox in the tree view control changes the state between post to the server. Tree node collapse event occurs when a node is collapsed in the tree view control. Tree node data bound event occurs when the data item is bounded to a node in the tree view control. Tree node expanded event occurs when the node is expanded in the tree view control. Tree node populate event occurs when the node with its popular on demand property set to true is expanded in the tree view control. Item created event occurs when a sitemap node item is created by the sitemap path and is associated with its corresponding sitemap node. Item data bound event occurs after a sitemap node item has been bounded to its underlying sitemap node data by its sitemap path. Load event occurs when the server control is loaded into the page object. Pre-render event occurs after the control object is loaded but prior to rendering. And unload event occurs when the server control is unloaded from memory.